Stevens DIY Auto Repair. All right, guys, and we are back. And today, we're going to be doing a review of Harbor Freight's ammo cans or ammo boxes, however you prefer to say it. So here we have Harbor Freight's 50 caliber ammo can. It's all metal. And uh, sorry guys, I took the labeling off and I labeled it nine millimeter. I use mine for ammo, uh, but it's not solely for ammo. You can always use it for tools, nuts, bolts, whatever you like. Uh, we just painted this on. It comes blank, but we, uh, we just painted this on. So like I said, you could use it for multitude of different things. It's good for tools bolts, nuts, ammo, whatever you want to use it for. I personally use it for ammo, so sorry, it, it says nine millimeter on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here it says 22M2A1. It's a little hard to see it. Um, this is very comparable, very similar to the military ammo cans, our military ammo cans. So here you have the latch, opens up, and as you can see inside, it's still pretty new. And the lids come, come off pretty easy. They're supposed to come off pretty easy like that. So here you have the lid, the ammo can itself. So to put it back on, obviously you just line, line these up, slide it back on, and you're good to go. So the way the lid works, it's got these two prongs here, and now it's closed. It's got a nice sturdy handle. And this sometimes prevents it from coming up. Uh, you could also use this as a handle, I suppose, but I wouldn't recommend it. So anyway, guys, it's nothing special. It's just your standard ammo can, standard military can, your M2A1. Um, so I thought I would do a quick little review about it uh, just because uh, I initially was attempting to get the ammo cans from my local gun shop, my chain gun shop. Uh, they weren't, they didn't have any. So I went on uh, online. Um, Amazon was pretty pricey. They were like $30, $40 for one 50 cal can. Uh, I, and then I finally went to Walmart. I found a $50 ammo, $50. I found a 50 caliber ammo can and it was $12.99. And I thought, okay, great. You know, really cheap, cheapest I've ever seen it. Normally, they're anywhere between 15 to about $18 for the 50 cal ammo can. So this was $12.99, so I was like, okay, it's not too far off. Let me go ahead, I ordered two of them. And when I picked them up, I, it wasn't until I got home that I was actually looking at it and it was cheap piece of crap. The lid, listen to the lid here. It's that real strong snaps into place. You know it's locked. This one would not would, would not do that. It would just kind of like that. You couldn't hear it. Some of the, the prongs, these things were bent in. I had to try to bend them out, and it was just the overall just it, it just was cheap piece of crap. Back here. One of these pins was actually pushed in all the way and it was like hanging out on both sides. And I was just like, I was actually kind of shocked. I mean, yes, it was $12. It was cheaper than it normally is, but I was like, how can you mess up an ammo can? Uh, but they seem to do a pretty good job of messing it up. So long story short, I took it back and I was like, hey, you know, let me go to Harbor Freight. I know that they usually have them. So I went to Harbor Freight. They had a whole shelf full of them. 
and I picked up two of them. This is one of them, and it's exact same quality as you can get at your local gun shop or uh, your military surplus store. Um, so highly recommend it. Um, I haven't really, uh, I've, I've had ammo in it. I just don't have it right now. It's holding up perfectly fine. Everything about it is good to go. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, I'll mention now, is what makes these ammo cans so good, other than its uh, durability, its sturdiness, is if you could see in here, there's this rubber gasket that goes all along the lid. And that's to keep out any kind of water. So if this was to be submerged in water, get rained on, um, you're not, it's not going to leak inside and get whatever your contents are wet. So if you're, out, if you're out at a gun range, it happens to start raining, or you have a flood in your house or your garage, your tools and or ammo, whatever you have inside is not going to get wet. So that's a big plus about these. Now to keep moisture out, you are going to get moisture in on initially opening up the lid and stuff. You can get a lot of these like silica gel packets tossed in here for your ammo or your tools or bolts. And it's not gonna, it's gonna prevent rust. So anyway guys, I mean, there's not much to talk about it. It's a metal ammo can. They call it an ammo can. You don't have to use it for an ammo can. I think this would be good for anybody, whether it's for ammo, some tools, some like wrenches, some um, nuts or bolts. If you have a lot of screws and you want to fill this up with screws, you can. They also sell a 30 cal ammo can, metal, that's a little bit smaller, which would probably be a lot better for nuts and bolts. Because I don't know if you're going to fill this whole thing up full of nuts and bolts. <laughs> but hey, who knows? You might. Um, I recommend these, the metal ones, over the plastic ones. Even though the plastic ones are a lot lighter and a lot quieter than this one is. I prefer this just because it's it's a lot sturdier. If you drop it or you you slam it up against something, this is going to hold up. It might it might dent, but your contents inside are going to be safe. Whereas if you have a plastic one, if you drop it, it could it could actually crack it. It could break the lid off and um, you're just not going to have that trouble with this one. Also the sides, they do flex. I'm pushing pretty hard. They do flex a little bit but not to the point where it's gonna flex in far enough for water to get up in there. Now, a plastic ammo can, it's probably gonna flex enough to get water up in, in there, so that's why I personally don't really prefer plastic ammo cans. Now, if you do wanna use, I'm not gonna lie, I do, I do have some plastic ammo cans and I use those mostly for extra magazines um, um, or just something like that, something that, I'm not too worried about that. I'm not going to be throwing around. Or if I do, it's just extra magazines. I'm not too worried about it. So anyway, guys, don't know what else to say about it. It's pretty much, that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and maybe put something inside of here. And we're going to submerge this underwater for maybe about 10, 15 minutes. And then we're going to open it up and check the contents inside and see how well this gasket holds up. Um, and see, and then finally give it a, a final review. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're here at our bathtub full of water. We're about ready to sink our nine millimeter ammo can underwater to test out the rubber gasket. So we went ahead and we got two of our jack stand pieces, a five pound weight, and this other chunk of metal here. Uh, we're gonna try to weigh it down as much as we can in order to um, keep the bucket or keep the ammo can underwater. I don't really wanna put anything on top because I feel that's gonna squish down on the gasket and make a better seal. And uh, we wanna try to do this as honest as possible. So we got our stuff in here. So before we go ahead and put this under water, we're gonna take one more sheet of paper and place it on top. We have one on bottom if you guys didn't notice. 
my hands are a little wet so I'm trying to do this without getting it too wet. So I'm putting paper in here to help uh, indicate if water got in and that way the camera can pick it up better. So we're going to go ahead and close this up and go ahead and dunk it under water. So hopefully you guys can see that it's completely submerged. So we're going to wait about 15 to 20 minutes, bring it back, take a quick look here and then take it back to our bench and go more in depth on it. So we'll be right back. All right guys, so it's actually been about 30 minutes now. So we're going to go ahead and take it out and do a quick look and then we're going to take it back to the table and take a closer look. So here we go. some of that water off. And as you can see, our paper, that's what I was trying to prevent, but our paper was hanging outside, so it did get a little bit of wet. But as far as the rest of the inside, it is completely dry. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is pretty dry, guys. Check that out. So our paper is pretty dry. It just got wet right now. But this was sticking outside of the rubber gasket and it got wet. But even the rubber stopped it, per se, from actually traveling through the paper. That's pretty cool because it's been in there for quite a while. So let's go ahead take this back to the table and finish up our thoughts here all right guys so we got it taken out of the the water we uh, rinsed uh, dried it off and we're gonna take a closer look as you guys remember our paper was in here um, we took it out and all of our stuff is dry we're going to check out the bottom here. And as you can see, our paper is completely dry. I'm going to move all this off. So as you can see, our paper is dry and we have no water inside. So I say that worked pretty good, guys. Nice little seal, kept the water out. It was submerged for about 30 minutes, maybe a little long, but not bad, guys. I say for Harbor Freight, it worked. So there you have it, guys. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and um, go to the Harbor Freight website and uh, I'll show you the specifications and uh, and uh, the current price on it but as far as testing it i think we're good to go guys <clears throat> it does what it, it's supposed to do it's just basically a, a holder and it keeps out water does a great job of doing that um not much not much else to say about it guys really not much else to say about it for i think it was 15 or 7 <clears throat> i think it was 17 dollars somewhere in there we'll we'll check right now but not a bad deal like i said i usually use mine for ammo uh but you could use it for tools uh if you have a bunch of nuts and bolts or screws or nails whatever you want to carry in here and you want to keep it watertight this is your go-to and they also have it in uh, 30 caliber so it's going to be a little bit less bulky it'll be a little bit smaller a little slimmer so there you have it guys so let's go ahead and check it out on the computer. All right, guys. So we're going to be taking a real quick look at the ammo can on Harbor Freight's website. So it's a metal 50 caliber ammo can. 
Right now, it is on sale for $16.99. Original price is $17.99. Um, this is usually the, the average price that you're going to find anything cheaper than this. I highly doubt you're going to get any kind of good quality out of it. <clears throat> so, again, this is the 50 cal ammo can. Um, this is the sticker that it comes with. Unfortunately, on mine, I had already took it off and painted on it um, prior to the video. So this is what it's going to look like. You can put ammunition, fishing gear, electronics, camera equipment, pretty much anything you guys want. Like I said, tools, nuts and bolts. Um, and here's a picture of it. Exactly what I showed you guys. Just going over, it's a M2A1. Um, so here's a product overview. Weatherproof steel ammo can is designed to hold gigantic 50 caliber Browning machine gun or BMG rounds, giving you plenty of storage space for standard ammunition tools or electronic gear. This sturdy field box is built entirely from steel with a weatherproof gasket. Waterproof compression bell latch with gasket. Stackable design with lay flat handle. That is true. You can definitely stack these up on top of each other. Extra large storage space. Um, there's the dimensions. Heavy duty matte enamel finish. Holds up to 34 pounds of ammo or gear. Not bad there, you guys. Here's some more uh, specifications. A little warranty, 90 days of the purchase. And I'm not going to go through all of the rest of this. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown um, of the ammo can on Harbor Freight's website. They also have as you can see here, these plastic ones, I I don't really recommend those for anything um, like you, that you guys want to really keep safe. Um, tools or ammo or camera equipment. It's not a good idea in these plastic ones. I highly recommend the metal ones better. Um, here is the metal 30 caliber ammo can. It's on sale for $12.99. Original price is $15.99. These are exactly the same as the 50 cal, just a lot smaller. So if you don't need all that extra room, both of these are phenomenal. Um, and in the plastic, you could get the 30 and the 50 cal. We could look at the plastic real quick, but um, as far as tossing it around or it cracking, I, I don't, I'm, I don't think I could trust it. I've never had one crack on me, but I've never tortured it. So anyway, going back to our 50 cal can, there it is guys, it's on sale right now. Again, I'm <laughs> broken record here. You guys can use this for any um, a lot of different things, not just ammo. So um, this does fall into um, tool category because you could use it for tools, nuts and bolts, wrenches, sockets, uh, whatever you guys can think to put in there to keep it uh, watertight. There you go, guys. So I'm going to stop talking about this ammo can. I've pretty much said everything I can say about it. Highly recommend it, and we're going to end it there. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button. If you guys would like to be notified when I put out another video, make sure to ring that bell notification. And as always, guys, please subscribe to my channel for more informational videos and DIY projects. And until next time, guys, have a good one.